after agreeing to go back into the jungle, I'm a celebrity, Gillian McKeith, caused a bit of a stir with her saucy, smuggled contraband and <laughs> spicy knickers. Uh, but what did her family think of her antics? We are about to find out. Please welcome mum and daughter duo Gillian and after McKeith. <laughs> Lovely to Hello. have you here. <laughs> well, listen, the first thing about going back into I'm a Celebrity after your first stint is, mm -hmm. why did you go back? Why? Yeah, why? <laughs> they told me it would be a after celebration. After the same thing. They said it would be a celebration. Oh. Of what? <laughs> they, they <laughs> but you didn't yeah. really have anything to celebrate, did you? Because you hated it so much Oh, 2010, it was horrendous, because I did every single trial, bar one, I think. It was horrendous, yeah. So this time, no public vote. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. You didn't have to do many trials. You just did the one, right? I did. I, well, I went inside a box to get in there. So as far as I was concerned, that was a trial because I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> I kept telling everybody. I kept saying to Jordan, Jordan, this was my trial. I did it. Mm. Was like, silly, Jordan, so after you were ten when your mum first went in, <laughs> yes. and how did you feel about her going this time? Well, the first time I was horrified at the thought of it. This time, when I heard it was going to be in South Africa, I thought it might be an interesting experience, so I kind of encouraged her to do it. Yeah, they did. I've never been to South Africa, and also I have family there, so I actually got to yeah. meet them for the first time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And also, um, the guy that from Happy Mondays. Oh, oh Sean. Sean. <laughs> Sean. 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 now. Yeah, well, yeah, he, he sort yeah. of embraced you really didn't he when yeah, he, he went did. in we kind of came full circle because yeah. i was dreading that he might be in there by the way i was so concerned that he was going to be there i spent a week or two stressing like there's yeah. no tomorrow <laughs> that he might be there but i had no idea if he was going to be in there when i came out of the box and i saw him i'm like oh my god it's sean no. <laughs> and don't you feel that he picked you for another reason yeah jane yeah. he picked me because he wanted to go home <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was so i was his get out of jail card <laughs> Even and though you were providing lots of um, spicy salty, knicker. spicy knicker moments yeah. for the crew, did they not? <clears throat> did they not check you for contraband? Yeah, I was checked twice. Yeah. But I had a very clever way of a special type of material. I would like to talk about. <laughs> well, you had it in a condom. In, in the condom, so the condom has a very smooth touch, oh my and so everything was hidden inside the backs of these condoms. What? In where did you get? I was mortified from. when I'm quite I found out. Creative. That. When I have to. Be. I was like, where do you get a condom? I'm quite creative when you have to be. In fact, you'll see some unseen photos tonight. There's I'm a Celebrity South Africa unseen tonight on ITV. Oh, so you'll see, see some, of, see some, some more knicker stuff. No and doubt. how did all like the other campmates feel about you sneaking stuff in? Well, some of them weren't very happy about it. No, Fatima wasn't happy, was she? <laughs> no, no, she wasn't. But the thing is, a couple of the people who said, "Oh, you shouldn't be doing that," Give actually had some of my mix. Oh, yeah. Also, can I ask you one? And one thing some nettle infusion. was um, <laughs> were, <laughs> nettle infusion. <laughs> Have we been pronouncing oregano wrong all the time? Well, it depends where you You say from, oregano. Yeah. Right, it's quite American. That's way. quite American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depends where you're so. from, really. I after, after, oregano. Obviously, here, oregano. After, yeah. I wanted to go back to where Mum was in the show the first time, and of course, had her show, which is obviously all about analysing. Poo. Yeah. <laughs> As I have three daughters myself, they all go through a phase when they're young or as teenagers where everything that your mum does is, is horribly embarrassing. <laughs> yes. How does that feel for you going through school? So oh. when she was analysing poo, um, I was actually in primary school, so I was very young and people were not very mean and I also didn't feel embarrassed by what my mum would do. Um, so it didn't affect me, but I know that it really did affect my sister a lot more because she was a teenager at the yeah. time. Yeah. Right, so, so she's older, than, obviously older she's than She's like almost six years older than me. Right. So it affected her. People used to scream at her in the hallways and yell about poo. And well, I saw school. your mum sniffing poo so last she, night, that yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not so cool when you're a teenager. <laughs> no, probably, that probably things their parents have told them to say. Yeah. Oh, but yes. you've been, probably. yourself, you've been living in America for a few years, yes. haven't you? Yes. I was actually living in Los Angeles for the last couple of years, and then I was living in South Dakota for a few months, and then I was living in Austin, Texas for a few months, and recently just got back to the UK after living in the States for nearly four years, probably, a total of almost four years. I'm glad um, to be home. 
I'm really glad to be back. It's so nice just seeing all my friends and family and, you know, people from where I'm from. And, and how did you, you met? Because the two of you are so close, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, we are. Oh, it was yeah. really hard being it away from each hard. other. It was very hard, yeah. Because um, we're so close. And, you know, we used to do everything together until, you know, I moved away. And then yeah. it was really tough. And the, the dressing similarly? Oh, yeah. yeah. But not yeah. as yeah. I that. I know. As a no. Yeah, we used to be wearing matching outfits Why not? on the red carpet. In my teen years, we did that yeah. a lot. Yeah, we and still do it, though. Whose idea was that? Was Yours. it mine? It was yeah, right. I think it was my idea. <laughs> of course, I go along I, with it. You know? Like you said, you know, I wasn't really <laughs> embarrassed about, you know, what my mum would do, and I kind of encouraged some things, like the matching outfits. I just thought it was really fun. I, mean, I, have I to must say suggest you're not that for... to Louis. He'll love the outfits. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you must. <laughs> but you know, like, you work as a, a movement coach, a personal trainer. Yes. So I believe in America you were doing sort of pageants and yes, stuff. Even, so, uh, do they have pageants here in yes, the UK? They do. Yeah. They do have pageants over here. So I've been working in the fitness industry for about six years now <laughs> and I've specialised in pageantry and working in, I have a background in dance and yoga uh -huh. as well. So I've specialised in movement coaching for pageants which is basically going into detail on posture, mm. um, balance, um, working on walking techniques and turning techniques in the pageants and I've helped a lot of people win their pageants after working with me. Um, you know, I didn't know they were a thing here. Yeah, yeah they they're not, but they're not I, as high octane as the ones. No, it's very in big in America. In America. Um, yeah. There's lots of different systems. I think like 20 or maybe even more than 20 different wow. systems. Yeah. Um, and I have girls in Miss USA, um, Miss America, Miss Universe, Miss World, and all the th all the systems you can Must think of. Must be a bit of. like mm. same atmosphere sitting here with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're, we're talking about adult. I was thinking of like the little kids pageant. I know that. <laughs> I don't um, know what no, pageant so would be in. A lot of people think that pageants are... <laughs> so we should create one. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should make a loose women pageant. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think that a lot of people think pageants are little girls in yeah, cars. That's, yeah. that's not what I'm doing. Right. It's actually very serious. It's almost like a sport. You know, they oh. spend months, mm. if not years, training for it and getting their bodies in order and, and toning and sculpting their muscles. And it's very, very serious. And they're from usually... <laughs> I mean, there's the teen um, age, which is anyone in their teen years, and then you've got people in their 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s and there's pageants for all of those ages and oh. I have clients from every age. Yeah. Um, Meanwhile, your mum's smuggling food in with condoms. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, okay. yeah. no, oh my I god, I caught me there. Oh, well, well, I was hoping to season the bland yeah. food. Uh -huh. but, in know. this family, yeah. nothing is taboo. <laughs> Not even condoms and knickers. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but funny enough, you've kind of had the last uh, the last laugh, yeah. Jillian, in that you know when you were talking about gut health all yeah. these years ago and the you were ahead of your time. Yeah. Really. Now everyone's yes. talking about gut health, and so you know, really does help. I love the idea that people can learn about their bodies and help themselves. And yeah. To yeah even a tiny change can make a huge difference. Yeah. Anyway, listeners, it's been lovely to have you here. Gillian and Afton, everyone. Thank you very much.